is called modulus amplitude form or polar form of any complex simple set. With R into cos theta plus I sin theta, the theta is not so integral minus pi gamma pi. So this is the name is called polar form or modulus amplitude form of complex number set. Cos theta plus I sin theta simply we can denote it as cis theta, C I S theta. Cos theta plus I sin theta we can denote it as cis theta. That is, if uh, two numbers are cis theta 1 into cis theta 2, then we can write as cis of theta 1 plus theta 2. Cis theta 1 by cis theta 2 equal to cis of theta 1 minus theta 2. But R of Z1 by Z2 equal to R Z1 minus R Z2 plus N pi. For some n it is plus or minus 1, 0, 1. R Z1 Z2 is R Z1 plus R Z2 plus N pi. Mod Z1 Z2 is mod Z1 into mod Z2. As we know that R of any complex number Z, R of Z, you know that what is the form that we have? Tan inverse of y by x. Where Z equal to x plus R. R Z is the tan inverse of y by x. And mod of Z is what? Mod x plus i y is under root of x square plus y square. You know that this is a notation for the mod Z. And this is a notation for the R Z. R Z is equal to tan inverse of y by x. And cis theta simply we can write as cos theta plus i sin theta. Cis theta 1 into cis theta equal to cis of theta 1 plus theta 2. Similarly, if any numbers are like this, cis theta 1, cis theta 2 into cis theta 3 and so on, cis theta n if it is there, we can write as cis of, if it is theta 1 theta 2, theta 1 plus theta 2. If it is theta 1 theta 2 and so on, theta n is there, we can write cis theta 1 plus cis theta 2 plus cis of theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 and so on theta n. We will see that uh, how we got cis theta 1 into cis theta 2 is cis of theta 1 plus theta 2. By the notation, cis theta is what we can write cos theta plus i sin Cis theta 1 we can write as cos theta 1 plus i sin theta. Cis theta is what cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2. Right? Now, uh, generally we say this is the product of so general multiplication cos theta 1 into cos theta 2 cos theta 1 into i sin theta 2 let's multiply with i sin theta i sin theta 1 cos theta 2 now multiply this to hmm? okay. we will see the modulus amplitude form of a complex number if z equal to x plus i y is one complex number then mod or amplitude form of a complex number is r into cos theta plus i sin theta where theta is belongs to minus pi to pi so this is called the modulus amplitude form or polar form of the complex number polar form that is x plus i y equal to r into cos theta plus i sin theta. And we know that what is the mod z that is under root of x square plus y square. And what is the arg z? Arg z is tan inverse of y by x. Right? Now, uh, for this some properties are there. Cis theta 1 into cis theta equal to cis of theta 1 plus theta 2. Right? What is the cis theta? cos theta plus i sin theta this simply we can write it as cis cis theta cos theta plus i sin theta is nothing but cis theta that is in the cos starting letter c imaginary i sin starting letter s that is cis theta we can write this now see the if it is a cis theta 1 it is cis theta 2 we can write cis of theta 1 plus theta 2 now how we will see how this one came cis theta 1 into cis theta 2 right by the notation cis theta 1 we can write it as cos theta 1 plus i sin theta 1 cis theta 2 we can write cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2 clearly this is in the general multiplication so multiply cos theta 1 
cos theta 2 plus cos theta 1 into i sin theta 2. Next, multiply with i sin theta, i sin theta 1 cos theta 2. Now, if you multiply with these two, i into i, i square, that is we know that i square value is minus 1. So, minus sin theta 1 into sin theta 2. Now, in this we have imaginary and real. So, first write down that real values, what are the real values we have in this one, this one and this one. Cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus sin theta 1 sin theta, this is the real part. And in this imaginary one, we have two imaginary parts. So, so take i common cos theta 1 sin theta 2 plus sin theta 1 cos theta 2, right. Now, clearly this is in the form of cos a cos b minus sin a sin. We have the property cos a cos b minus sin a sin, that is what cos of a plus b, right. Now, similarly, this is in the form of sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. We can write it as a sin of a plus b, right. So, these two properties applying here, if you apply for this one, this property, what will get it? Cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i. For this one, if you apply this property, we get sin of theta 1 plus theta 2. Now, clearly this is in the form of angles are same observe theta 1 plus theta 2, theta 1 plus theta 2. So, it is a cos theta plus i center. We can write it by the notation cis theta. So, it is a cis of theta 1 plus theta 2. That is see cis theta 1 into cis theta 2 is cis of theta 1 plus theta 2. Not only cis theta 1 into cis theta 2, if it is like this is there cis theta 3 and so on, cis theta n, if it is there, we can write cis of theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 plus and so on plus theta n, right. Now, if it is cis theta 1 by cis theta 2, cis of theta 1 minus theta 2, like this. If you apply the same concept for this one, we will get it the remaining values. R z1 by z2 is R z1 minus R z2 plus n pi, where n is belongs to minus 1, 0, 1. R z1 z2 is R z1 plus R z2 plus n pi. Mod z1 is mod z1 into mod z2. Right? 